Hello, how are you? I am going to um, wait a little bit for people who are going to come on this live um, call to come on the live call. There's, we have some people joining. Thanks for joining. We're just waiting for a few more people, so we'll give it a couple minutes, um, and then we can start the live feed. I have some people, some more people logging in. This is exciting. I love doing this live stuff. It's kind of fun. And then I will post this after. So if you're watching this after the live post, um, then thank you for watching it taped. I'm just going to prop the camera up a little bit more. So if you're watching the taping, I apologize for this little waiting in the beginning. We'll just wait one more minute. We are waiting for a couple other people. Okay, here we go. Oh, we have some new ones. Okay, great. Yay! Okay, awesome. I'm looking a little bit washed out in this. Let's see. You know what? That is all right. It's because it's nighttime and I need to set up like, I wish I had enough room for an in-home, um, in-home, what do you want to call it? Studio. There you go. Okay. Um, we are going to start. We have quite a few people on the call or on this Facebook live right now. So thank you again so much for watching. This is so fun. I will tape this and post this. Um, so if you guys want to comment actually right now so I can see if there's anything in particular that you guys wanted to see in this live call, I will be talking on this live call mostly about entrepreneurship, my journey, kind of why I started my own thing and um, and kind of where I want to go from there. So please comment if there's anything that you guys are looking for me to talk about specifically and I can make sure I include that in. Um, so I am going to start. Um, oh, I love when you guys send hearts. That's so sweet. Cool. Um, okay, so I'm going to start a little bit about kind of my past and why I knew that I wanted to be entrepreneurial. Um, I'm going to close this sound on my computer. Okay, perfect. Um, so I always, I was always a little bit bizarre um, and always knew I was entrepreneurial. So the first thing I want to ask you is I really want you to think about what did you enjoy as a child? What did you love doing uh, uh, with your friends, with your family? I oddly always loved to public speak. I had to win every single public speaking competition in elementary school. You know when you have to do that. Um, and you have to do these public speaking things and I always had to win. So I love doing that. I also always love participating in class. I love to talk. I love to start <clears throat> businesses at the end of the street. I also um, would make everybody sign contracts when they said that they wanted, that they were going to do something. I said I made them sign a contract to make sure they would. <laughs> so I was always a little bit business savvy, always entrepreneurial. And so um, growing up, if you've seen any of my stuff, you may also know that I lost my mom at a young age. So with that being said, I saw how quickly illness and disease can impact a family and a person. I also saw that life is really short and it's really about the experiences that you create for yourself. So when my mom was first diagnosed with breast cancer when she was six, ended up passing away, or when I was six, ended up passing away when I was 18. Um, so, you know, she had breast cancer for a little bit, then she went into remission and then got breast cancer again. Um, when she ended up passing away at 18, 
I always knew that there was something more and that it life was about experiences. And so the first, the next thing I want to kind of tell you as an aha moment for me is really, really listen to your intuition. So many people ignore their intuition and I really want to encourage you listen to your gut because I always knew what I loved. I always knew when I felt at my best and I always knew that there was something more in life. So think about number one, what you loved when you were a child and what you naturally love. Number two is listen to your intuition. What does that feel like for you? Number three is I want you to think about when you are at your best write down like when do you feel at your best what does alignment mean to you what does being in alignment with your inner self and with your source feel like to you what are you doing what does it feel like so many people actually don't even know what makes them happy so if you're searching for happiness how are you supposed to know what makes you happy if you're always searching and you're never really listening so listen to what makes you happy Thing I feel at my best when I am public speaking, when I'm helping others, when I'm hosting and interacting with others, but then I also feel at my best when I am calm and collected and just knowing what alignment feels like. I can be in alignment, and I'm going to further explain this, but I can be in alignment when I am on my own and when I'm in front of people and really when I'm doing anything. So it's really paying attention to when you are at your best, what does that feel like, and that awareness. It's almost like creating a library in your mind of different emotions so that you're able to pick out the books of those emotions when you want to feel those emotions. It's super, super powerful. And I can attest to... You have to know what your inner self feels like, what your intuition feels like when you're at your best so that you can pursue what makes you happy. And I think truly that's what entrepreneurship is. Entrepreneurship is listening to your inner self and listening to when you're at your best, what makes you happy so that you can do that. Because you can still be entrepreneurial even if you're working for somebody else. But really, really, my goal and my purpose, the more I find out who I am, I also know that I, I'm, I'm a guider. I want to guide light. I want to help other people get into alignment, find their best self so that they can find their purpose. And some people, I'm not sure you guys can send hearts and likes and comments if you guys feel that you actually know your purpose. And I think once we start to find out who we are, we can get more in alignment with our purpose, but also realizing that that changes. Entrepreneurship and just life in general, I think for the first time ever, our society is changing so quickly that we are not going to be in jobs for our entire lives. The most successful people have five to seven streams of income and they're constantly changing and evolving. And I think that that's a beautiful thing because we are forever evolving. So are our careers and so are things that we're doing. So if you want to start your own thing, don't feel like you are, you have to figure it out all now before you start. Uh, really, it's a little bit at a time. It's like if someone were to tell you that you had to eat all of the food today to live the rest of your life, that wouldn't make sense. We have to eat every day to keep our body in check and to keep it active and growing and evolving. And so I really think entrepreneurship and alignment and finding yourself are really, they go hand in hand, business and yourself. It's true. How you do one thing, you do everything. And so it really is about finding yourself so that you can be happy, so that you can follow source, so that you can follow your dreams and really create the life of your dreams. So I'm going to ask you another question. I want you to think about if I had a magic wand and could give you the life of your dreams, what would that look like? You have to know what you want your lifestyle to look like in order to pursue what you want to pursue to make you happy. I had a client who said, you know, I want to be a consultant, but then didn't 
want to basically want to be making money while they were sleeping, uh, make passive income. Do you see how those things don't align? So the lifestyle she wanted to live, you could consult and create that, but what she wanted actually needed her to be in her city all the time working for money. So are you trading your time for money or are you creating things that work without you? That is a huge side tip is that if you want to be creating a lifestyle, you can love your job. I will be working for life. But I also want to be creating things that work without me because that's the only way you can build, you know, five to seven streams of income and and still be happy and free and traveling and whatever that lifestyle looks like for you. So really think about what does that lifestyle look like for you and are your dreams and hopes in alignment with the lifestyle that you want to create? Because that was a big thing for me when deciding I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I thought about, you know, a life short. I want to create things that work without me. I want to be able to work from anywhere. I want to be able to have a family, but be able to travel and not be tied to a place because of my job or career. I wanted to be able to be mobile. Um, so what does your lifestyle look like to you? And, you know, on an average monthly basis, how much money do you want to be bringing in? Um, so, so yeah, so I've been talking a lot about gut really paying attention to your inner self so that you can follow the trajectory of where you want to be going in an entrepreneurial in an entrepreneurial way. So, um that are those are huge huge tips for me. Um I'm going to give you also some tips with regards to entrepreneurship. So the next 20 years are huge, huge, huge. And this is really exciting because I believe the next 20 years are the are the years of the entrepreneur. With that being said, and with what I already said of entrepreneurs evolving, not having the same career, having five to seven streams of income, all of that's exciting. But what is that red thread that's threading all of those things together? It's your brand. So as an entrepreneur and as this society grows and evolves, your brand is even more important. So I want you, oh man, I feel like I'm giving you guys all this homework, <laughs> um, but I want you now to also think about what is my brand? What do I want people to know me for? And what is my brand? For me, I know that my brand, I've kind of touched, in on, touched on it already, is like a guiding light. I want to spread love. I want to teach unconditional love, spread love, but also to help people get into alignment and be an example for that for people and be a positive light for people um, in a negative realistic world. Um, so what is your brand and what do you want that to look like? Because now, especially with social media, and this is really exciting. I'm actually going to do a workshop on branding. So keep your eyes open for that in the next few months. I'm going to talk about your brand and how you can incorporate that via Facebook, um, Instagram, Snapchat, website, whatever that looks like to help to develop your brand. Because at the end of the day, nobody buys your product or service. Everybody buys you. And so with that being said, sorry, something just popped up on my phone. <laughs> so really thinking about what is your brand and how do you want to portray that brand? I mean, I have a love-hate relationship with social media also. I feel that sometimes it's really overdone, but it's also pretty beautiful that people that love you are going to love you and people that don't are, are not, and that's okay. You want to attract like tribes, right? So be as authentic as possible. And so I also want to say that in my entrepreneurial journey, things have always been easier and in flow when I've been my most authentic. And you see how it's kind of all tying together to, again, what is, who are you when you're at your best? What does it mean for you to be in alignment? Finding your authentic self. Because when you're your authentic self, it is so much easier to, I'm going to use the word sell, but it's so much easier for you to sell your product, sell your brand, sell yourself. Because you kind of just like throw your hands up in the air and you're like, this is me, um, take it or leave it. So, to, so being authentic and finding that self 
um, that self within your brand and your business is so, so beneficial. So you can see how entrepreneurship, and I've said it multiple times, entrepreneurship and self-development really go hand in hand because your businesses can only ever be as big as you are. So, um, so yeah, so I will be talking more about brand. I will do another workshop with branding um, because it's super exciting and ca it can be really fun. So it's how can you show your lifestyle, your lifestyle and you and your personality is your brand. It's not, you know, um, people are selling a lot of things online now, but again, people buy you, not your brand. So how can you show your brand online? Um, and in person and wherever you go so that your businesses are in alignment with your brand. Um, what else? I just want to see what other um, points I have here before we kind of finish up the chat. Um, so another tip that I have for you is once you've really started to focus on alignment, what alignment is like for you when you're at your best, Come up with some routines that get you into alignment and get you to your best. Um, and so I'm actually going to, I'm in the process of creating um, a downloadable document for some of my tips to be your authentic self and to feel at your best when you're kind of feeling stuck and overwhelmed. But really thinking about what are these routines for you? So I'm going to give a couple tips and routines right now that maybe can help you and feel free to comment on this video of routines that you use that can get you into, um, that get you into alignment also. So obviously it starts out in the morning. So some routines that I use, and again, I'm going to throw all these out here. Some I use every day, some I don't, and that's okay. It's really what you need at that time. So um, gratitude journals are amazing to kind of get your headspace there. So our intentions. I now tie my morning intentions with a routine. I light a candle while I'm doing my intention. And I find that the physical action of lighting a candle and my mind it's just a nice routine that gets my mind and my body into alignment. I also play fun music in the morning. You know, Tony Robbins talks a lot about your body and mind have to be connected for you to be in alignment. So when my, I mean, you need to kind of get your body ready to go for the day. So play pump up music, dance around, get your body moving, you know, raise your hands in the air. Endorphins actually go through your body just when your hands are in the air or when your hands are on your hips. Can you see here? Um, and when you thrust your hips forward. So I don't know, you're going to look funny in the video, but you can thrust your hips forward. So there's a lot of different physical actions that change this and smile. You can just sit there and smile for a minute. Um, with intentions, you can also meditate. Um, with my morning intentions, I will also think of an emotion and how I want to feel that day. I'll say, you know, today I want to have a day filled with ease, joy, happiness, love, whatever those emotions are. I'll set my phone alarm for like 30 days or 30 days. That would be something. Um, 30, 30 seconds or th or three minutes and really just focus on that emotion until my body is full of that emotion. So again, it's like that library example that I gave you before of really, really organizing your mind and your emotions like a library so that you can pick the book slash emotion that you want to feel at that given moment. Um, some other tips that you can do is I take myself on a vacation walk almost every day. And what I do, I also have associated relaxation with tea. Tea's kind of a routine for me too. I'll get a tea to go, I'll put it in my little to-go cup, um, and I go for a walk. And on that walk, however long it is, it could really be five minutes, but I like to make it half an hour to an hour. Um, but on that walk, I really think to myself, I am on vacation and I have nothing to do. And you really, you can even do this right now. If you have tons of things that you're supposed to be doing right now, for one moment or after this call, I want you to think, I don't have anything to do and really see how your entire mind shifts. It is just a mindset. We are telling ourselves sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, I wake up in the morning full of anxiety thinking, oh my God, what do I have to do today? 
And then I stop and I say, no, you're on vacation. You don't have to do anything today. Life is beautiful. And really, we don't have to do anything. We really don't have to do anything. Really think about it. We don't have to. Nothing really is going to happen if we don't do anything. And alleviating that pressure and realizing how different I feel when I tell myself, I don't have to do anything. Everything's my choice. It is so freeing and so liberating and I feel in alignment right away. So start playing with your emotions and your mind and what you're telling yourself to see how your emotions change, how your mindset changes, how your perception changes, which will then change your actions, right? Um, so I love, love, love a vacation walk. I also take myself out on dates. So I think this is really important because at the end of the day, I do not want to be looking for happiness outside of myself. I do not want other people, whether it be friends, romantic, whatever, to be making me happy. I need to come up with that in my own. And so whatever I would do with somebody else, let's say I'm like, oh, I'd love to go. It can be anything. You can go to the movies. You can go to dinner. You can go to the zoo. You can go to the museum. Pick something that you would love to do with somebody else and take yourself. And I make it a point, it is pretty funny, when I'm out, I don't do it out loud, or obviously I'd seem like a, a lunatic, um, but let's say I'm out at dinner, I will play a game with myself and think, oh, if I was out on, on a date, what would I want that person to be telling me right now? And chances are, you would probably want that person across from you to be sitting across from you saying, you are beautiful. I just love my time with you. You are so smart and you change my world and you make my world a better place. Wouldn't that be so cool if someone said that right across from you? And so when you're out on your date, pay attention to your mind. Be your own best friend. If you would want somebody else to treat you like that, why aren't you treating yourself like that? We're so quick to knock other people when really we need to be our own best friends and we need to treat each other the best way possible. And I, you know what, I take myself out on dates often and I still have problems with that sometimes, is really celebrating myself. I'm gonna share a little story with you. Um, I was talking about this with my coach last week of how I have a really hard time celebrating myself and realizing how awesome I am because we're all pretty freaking awesome. You are awesome. And I was watching a movie um, on Netflix. I do not know the name, so do not quote me on this. Um, but it was this boy who was going to commit suicide and was really depressed. And he checked himself into the hospital, the psych ward in the hospital. And he um, was there only for a week. But he was stuck with a roommate. I'm going to say stuck. He was stuck with a roommate who wouldn't get out of the room because he was so overwhelmed with the highs and lows of life. Yeah, some days you're going to have really shitty days and other days you're going to have really awesome days. But he hated the shitty days so much, he figured it wasn't worth coming out of his room. And so when this little boy um, left, the, um, left the psych ward, he threw a party. And at this party, his roommate was Indian. He brought an Indian record and started playing this Indian record. And for the first time, his roommate came out of his room. And it was so beautiful, I sat there and thought to myself, oh my God, this Indian man is gonna heal because of this little boy's gesture. And then I got it, and then I thought, oh my God, that's, we, we are that, we are that boy, we are that man. Just you being here on earth is changing other people's lives. And you are making everybody else's life around you better just by being in this world. And so tying it back to what we were talking about before, purpose and meaning is, you know, what is your purpose and how today can you make somebody's el somebody else's life better? Because when we take it away from the pressure of what do I need to do today and really make it about everybody else, is how can I make somebody's life beautiful today? How can I touch somebody else's life? It's a really beautiful gift to give somebody else. And think about how amazing you feel when you do something great for somebody else. So this is other, this is really flowing really nicely and all tying in, I'm very happy about this. <laughs> but think about how what you can add this into your routine of 
complimenting someone, doing something nice for somebody else to really bring you into your alignment. So really look at what kind of routines do you do to bring yourself into alignment to help you create um, the life of your dreams. So I'm almost done because I want to be cognizant of time. Um, uh, we, I have been going on and just to recap, I've talked a lot about like what it means to be an entrepreneur in today's society, really getting into alignment with yourself, creating your own brand, listening to your intuition, knowing when you're at your best so that you can help align your businesses with yourself. Because at the end of the day, you wanna love what you're doing. You want to, the most successful people, and I have to say, my businesses have always been better. Oh, this is Penelope, obviously, because she comes in every one of my videos. Um, but business will always grow if you continue to follow your instinct and your alignment. There's a very fine line between your to-do list, which is a very masculine-driven thing, and your, your intuition and following what your next steps should be. Right, and so I actually have two to-do lists that I that I do in my week. I do my to-do list of what needs to happen, and I have my to-do list of what I have to do. And it's the masculine and feminine. So life is a very interesting balance between the masculine and feminine, whether you're a woman or a man. But right now, I'm really, really focusing on not. We are very good in today's society, but we have to. Uh, looking at what we have to do versus what am I inclined to do? I have to be honest and tell you that all four of my businesses that I'm currently running happened by accident. I just followed what was logically at that moment the next best step. And so again, it's following your intuition so that you know what your next best step is. So I'm going to give you an example and then we're, we're going to finish this little call. Um, but the same thing with the women's group that I had started, the ladies community. Everything was just a next best step. I never thought it would be what it is today. At first it was just, hey, you know, you are who you surround yourself with. I want to be surrounded by even more kick-ass people as I continue to grow, right? So that's another comment is, who do you have around you that are supporting your dreams? I'm going to do a little, um, I'm doing a little side lesson before I finish this story, but I think it's really important to say is when you are an entrepreneur, when you're continue, continuing to try to be your best self, who is surrounding you? Are they supporting your dreams or squashing your dreams? Because you want to be surrounded by those people. And if you don't have those people, follow those people and pretend you're their friends. I love Instagram for that reason. I follow people that I think in my mind are my friends, but they're really not. I think they are because they are the ones that keep me motivated and really feeling like anything is possible. You need these people. And I hope to be that for you to really go after your dreams and know anything is possible and continue going at it because the world every day will tell you what's not. Right, So find those people that continue to motivate you to make you believe that anything is possible so that you can follow your intuition and you don't let your mind take over telling you that's not possible, you can't do that. And so to go back to my ladies community example is that you, everything was the next best a next best decision, right? So it's like, hey, I, I'd like to make some more friends and surround myself with some awesome people. I'm going to go online to meet friends. Oh, well... I'd like to kind of speed date my friends and really leverage my time. I'm gonna create some events. Oh, I should probably create a Facebook group. Oh, I should probably create another event. And then boom, because you are in alignment of my authenticity, I just followed the next best thing. You don't really, 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 this is like entrepreneurship 101 is just do it and kind of figure it out later. So many people get analysis paralysis <laughs> and really look at, they're like, my business plan, I have to set everything up, and then maybe I'm ready to go. No, nev nothing's ever going to be 100% ready to go. Even if you have everything figured out, you're still going to need to adapt because that's just the nature of the beast. You're continuously evolving and adapting your business because that's how you become successful. The most successful businesses have developed and adapted. Look at Blockbuster. When 
uh, when VHS was no longer a thing, and then Netflix and all that came out, Blockbuster went down. But if you look at other brands who have been able to adapt through recessions and through the changing of technology, those are that's what you want to be. You want to be able to adapt. So sometimes too much information actually isn't a good thing. So a little bit at a time will get you there. To be honest with you, even when I, I just launched my new website, you can check it out, benessortally.com. Super excited. Um, but even that was just like the logical next step. And I had had that kind of on the back burner for a little bit. But again, it's not to say that I was procrastinating. I just went with my intuition and knowing when it was the right decision and time to move forward. So little steps at a time, just like my... Um, the buffet example, you cannot eat everything you need to eat today to live for your entire life. It's day by day, and sometimes when we think about everything that we need to do, it becomes exhausting. But that's when, you, again, we're going full circle. Once again, you have to look at your mind and think, what am I telling myself right now? Am I my own best friend? And am I helping myself be successful? So if you're telling yourself, oh, you can't do that, you need to have more information, you need to do this. Is that just your fear talking or is it really legitimate or are you trying to talk yourself out of it? So really being aware and paying attention to what's going on in your mind to help facilitate your action. So one last tip I'm going to give you is always pay attention to your how you feel. If you feel good, you're in alignment. So pay attention to when you feel good. What are you doing? What does that feel like? You know those days when you feel like anything is possible and it is so beautiful because someone could tell you you are like, you are the meanest person they've ever met in your life and you'd be like, that's okay. You can think that. Whatever you think. It's so cool. Love those days. And then there's the days when you really don't feel great. Those are great days too. Because think about what you're telling yourself when you don't feel great. It means, hey, I've probably just told myself something that actually does not benefit me in any way and is going counter to what I should actually be telling myself. Because if you had someone that was sitting there when you were launching your business saying, you can't do this, you're not ready yet, you do not have enough information and you are not going to be successful if you go out right now, you'd look at them and say, shut up. Where's the, you're going to be great. Even if you, even if you don't do well right now, that's okay. You need to fail to be successful. The most successful people have failed a million times. Really, mindset is so important. Give yourself those rampages of love and support in the morning. Add those to your routines and add those, I call them rampages, where you're adding those to your routine where you sit there and you say to yourself, Vanessa, you are awesome. You're going to do this. And even if this doesn't go well, that is okay because then you'll learn. And then the next time you try, you'll be even better. So really, really watch your mindset. I love how all of this has kind of flown together and really connected um, because it just really shows you how important all of it is and it's all connected. So um, good luck. Uh, we are at nine o'clock right now and um, I want to be cognizant of your time. Thank you so, so much for watching this live stream. I hope that you got some tips that were beneficial. Honestly, take a look at my website. I will be doing a branding workshop in a few weeks, so stay connected. If you want to be connected and make sure that you get that information, go on to vanessaortali.com and sign up for the newsletter. I actually don't have a newsletter yet, but that way I'll have your email and I can send you information when I do branding. You can also check out theladiescommunity.com and the event and branding session will be posted there. So you can sign up for that mailing list as well. Um, but thank you so, so, so much for watching. Um, comment on this video. Stay connected. Follow me on Instagram. I'll probably post the branding workshop there as well. Um, I really, really appreciate your time. And also, I appreciate your willingness to learn. And I also really appreciate your willingness and knowingness that there is something more in you and that you want to do more because that's such a beautiful gift. And I hope that my light can ignite your light and your courage can ignite somebody else's courage to really go after what you want because I know you can do this and I'm so proud of you. I'm here to support you and I hope that we can all support each other. So go out there, get whatever you want because you deserve it and you're so worth it. 
Um, I love you so much. Thank you again for watching and I will chat with you soon. Bye for now.